right, good morning boys and girls. Um, so yesterday you had to do a skyscraper activity and I saw a lot of people struggling with this one so I thought I would do a quick video that goes through how to solve it and the answer. So we're going to be dealing with four different heights um, of skyscrapers and the first skyscraper is just going to be one block tall and the second one is going to be two blocks tall. The third skyscraper is going to be three blocks tall. And the fourth skyscraper, if you haven't noticed the pattern already, is going to be four blocks tall. All right, now you might be wondering what do these numbers and arrows mean on this puzzle? Well, let's look here. This four right here means that when I am looking down the street in this direction, so I would be standing here walking this way, I should be able to see four skyscrapers. But when I'm walking down the street going left, then now I should only be I should only be able to see one skyscraper. Um, I saw a lot of people solve this puzzle by using pennies, Legos, different types of blocks they had at home, different number strategies, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I would say the best way to do it is have a manipulative such as blocks, dice, Legos, pennies, um, puzzle pieces in front of you that you can stack for a visual. So let's start here. This four right here means I'm going to see four skyscrapers as I walk down the road this way. Well, if I stand right here, how many skyscrapers can I see if I'm walking this way? Well, the answer would be one, and the skyscrapers are here. I would just see this one skyscraper. So we know that I cannot just put the skyscrapers in any order. I have to put them in a strategic order. Now let's say that I decide to walk the other way and I decide to walk this way down the street. If I'm walking this way down the street, how many skyscrapers could I see? Well, I see one right here. I would see this would be the second, the second skyscraper I see the third skyscraper and the fourth skyscraper. So I know that the number of skyscrapers and blocks has to go in this order in this row. So the first skyscraper I see in this four, in this row right here would be one block tall. The second skyscraper that I would see would be two blocks tall. I'm gonna put a two. The third skyscraper that I would see would be three blocks tall. And the fourth skyscraper I would see would be four blocks tall as I walked on the street going this way. Again, if I stand over here and I walk backwards and I reverse and I'm walking this way, this would be the only skyscraper I would see walking backwards heading this direction because this skyscraper is blocking out the rest. So that's why we know that it has to go in one, one, two, three, four order right there. Okay. Now, let's see if we can figure out another another row. Well, right here, let's focus on this row right here. And I want to travel in this direction. If I'm traveling in that direction, I only want to see one skyscraper. So how would I rearrange my blocks so that I only see one skyscraper? We kind of just talked about that. I would arrange my blocks so this would be my first skyscraper because it's the tallest. And it would hide all these other skyscrapers. Now, we don't know exactly what order these other three go in. But we do know the four has to be here blocking it. Okay. Now, we got to look the other direction to figure out what order the other two skyscrapers go in this row right here. So, if I'm walking down the road heading this way, I want to see three skyscrapers. So in order to see three skyscrapers, and I'm walking down the row, and I'm heading this, this direction, I would see all four if they were stacked like this, meaning here's the one side I would see of each skyscraper. I only want to see three sides of, a, of the four skyscrapers, though. So that means one of these skyscrapers has to be hidden. Well, let's try rearranging some blocks here. Let's try, we know that the three and four have to stay the same because they're in this order at the bottom. Okay, so let's try taking this skyscraper, the first skyscraper, and making it two blocks tall. When I do that, now I, if I'm walking down the street this way, 
I see, I see one skyscraper. I don't see anyone right here because this, this little skyscraper is hidden. I see another skyscraper right there and I see another one right there. So we know the order of this row has to go two blocks. The skyscrapers in this row have to be two blocks tall, then one block tall, then three, then four. All right, so there's, there's that row. All right, let's keep going with our skyscraper puzzle. All right, now it's kind of easy to pick this corner out right here because if I only want to see one skyscraper in this whole row heading this direction, I got to find a skyscraper that is tall enough to block all the rest out. So what number should go here? If you guessed four, you are correct. Good job. Okay, now we don't know what other not what number goes here. We know it's a three or we know it's a two, but we don't know which one goes where. So we're gonna kind of move on to the next row. Okay. Now a helpful hint is every row, meaning every row left to right, has to have the numbers one through four in it only once. And every column also has to have the numbers one through four in it only once. Let's look at this corner right here. So we know that we wanna see three skyscrapers going up and down when we walk down the road this way and when we walk down the road this way. Well, we know that we have the numbers one, two, and three left over. Now, part of me wants to put a one right here and then a two here. However, if you look above, there's already a one in this row, so I can't have a one right there. So we know that this box is not a one. We also know that this cannot be a two because if you look above, there's already a two there. Okay, so knowing that we need to have a uh, skyscraper that is small enough that a taller one stands behind it and one cannot be the smallest, the next smallest skyscraper would have to be two. So that means if I'm walking down this road right here heading this direction, the smallest skyscraper I would want to see would be two blocks tall so that way I could see a second skyscraper that is three blocks tall, then the skyscraper that is four blocks tall that we already figured out, and then the, and then the skyscraper that is one block tall. Because now when I'm walking down the street, I see one skyscraper, two skyscrapers, three skyscrapers. And this yellow one in the back is hidden. Like he's not even there. So that is why this row is going to be two, three, and then a one. And then a one. Okay, now if we look at this row, we know that we want to see two skyscrapers. Well, I can already see two skyscrapers because the first skyscraper is going to be one tall. The second one is going to be four tall. And then I have the skyscraper that is two tall and three tall left over. And I don't know what order it goes in. However, there's a helpful hint right here. Just like we said before, we can only have the numbers one through four in each row once. So does that mean I can put a two here? No, it doesn't. Because now I have two twos in the same row. So that automatically makes this um, number or this skyscraper height three. Then that leaves a two here. So there's how we got this fourth row done. All right, we're down to the final three. Bum, bum, bum. Knowing that each row has to have the numbers one through four in it, I can see that in this row right here, I am missing the number one in it. So that must automatically mean that this box has to be a number one. Now, if I look at every, if I look at the column, if I look at this column, I can see that I have the number one, two, three. That means I am missing a four. So that means this box has to be a four. 
again, I'm going to repeat the same step for this last box right here that we are missing. If I look at the row that it's in, I see a one, two, oops, that must mean I'm missing a three. Now let's double check by looking at the column it's in. I have a one, I have a two, I have a three, and I have a four. To double check your answer, look in every column. Do you have the numbers one through four in every column? If so, you're good on columns. Let's check the rows. Do you have the numbers one through four in every row without repeats? If so, you are good. I hope this video helped and I can't wait for you guys to try another one next week. Bye guys!